division challenged along with our clients in the Center of Constitutional Rights um, and attorney, uh, human rights attorney, Andrea Ritchie, the Louisiana Crime Against Nature statute. And the statute was uh, solicitation of oral or anal sex. Um, and that statute was 208 years old when we challenged it. It was designed for gay men in the French Quarter over 200 years ago. And nobody ever cared about, who cares about gay men, right? Nobody cares. So fast forward, post Katrina, a national disaster uh, created by the government for the city of New Orleans, I just have to say that. Um, um, and, and the federal government. But what was unique about that is this law targeted people who they considered to be involved in street economy sex work. So if they thought you were selling oral or anal sex, then you were charged with a crime against nature that carries an automatic felony and it goes on your ID in bold orange letters, sex offender. Wow. So fast forward, when we decided to challenge this law, 80% of the people on the sex offender registry in Orleans Parish were African American women. So I want you to think about that. And the main reason all of our clients are involved in sex work is not because it feels glorifying to them, but it's because they need to eat. And many of the women involved in sex work, some of them even had jobs. But what's unique about this was that it, we called it just a talking crime because the, it was at the police officer's discretion. That means any of you could be walk, could have been walking down the street of New Orleans and were charged, okay? So I'm saying that to say when we think about the boxes, men versus women, the queer community versus the heterosexual community and anybody in the middle, is if we do not stand and fight for any injustice against any group of people, and when I say this, we've been saying, I said in an early session, y'all, we really in this country need to jump on the human rights train. I don't know what y'all, but this whole, you know, constitutional rights, that, that really ain't working for most of us. I, I know as a black person, it ain't working for me. It's not working for us. We really need to think about like standing together. And all of those women, just to say, many of them did up to 20 years in prison for that. And all of them are so powerful now. But they did that fight telling their own stories. I, I wanted to respond.